everybody, this is Alona from Alona Lapari Coaching and I help women professionals find work and build a business they love. I also have a newly launched podcast called Women in a Leader's Mindset and I invite you to go check it out on iTunes. The, um, today I want to talk to you about um, the topic of how to plan for the near future after this pandemic has passed and we're able to go back to our normal lives. Um, the reason I chose to speak about this topic today is because I think there's a lot of information out there about what is it that we can do to help prepare uh, for the situation right now, but not necessarily a lot of information about what is it that we can do right now to plan for when we go back to our normal lives in the near future, as I'm sure that this will pass and we'll be able to do that. The first tip I have is as we're heading towards spring and summer, I imagine small gatherings will be a thing, but large social gatherings will still not be allowed, and I'm sure for a while. Also, travel might be slowly allowed. Uh, By that time, I imagine that experts hopefully will also be looking for a, towards a cure for the virus. Then obviously, in order for all this to happen, the numbers of cases have to go down. The length of time this is with us is actually a function of how good of a job we do right now by limiting the spread. I understand that this might be an optimistic outlook, but looking at this optimistically is all that we have within our control at this time. So um, I want to tell you guys to use the time at home right now to learn a new skill or two that might relate to your per, uh, to your professional profession. Uh, you can use platforms such as LinkedIn Learning, YouTube, Udemy. Uh, this will also help you shift your focus and make you productive despite the circumstances that we find ourselves in. The second tip I have is to update your professional profiles and grow your network through sites like LinkedIn. Especially with the loss of jobs at this time, you can spend your time to grow your virtual network, which will put you in a better position professionally tomorrow. Third tip is to set some new goals that maybe you have been putting on the back burner for a while um, and see if you can use this time to make progress on them. This will also give you the break and the focus away from the usual routine at home and give you a reason to make progress towards something every day. These were some of the tips for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching and speak to you soon and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.